Alright, what's up guys? I'm Relatable Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Fall of Fabric 6. So, as I promised in last uh, episode, we're going to be slowing it down today and maybe doing a little bit of exploration. I've already got some of the stuff ready that we're going to need. We're going to be going into the Bumble Zone. Now, I will preface this with, I have no idea what to expect out of this. Um, yeah, no clue at all. Um, all it tells you is throw an ender pearl at a beehive, and that's all you get. So, yeah, not really sure what to expect here, but I think we're gonna go and check it out, and we'll uh, we'll see where it takes us. You know, so let's hop on in. I've got a. Oh, by the way, I didn't make this thing. It's a, called a cooler. Just take some blue ice, snow, and stained glass, and it'll automatically eat for me. So I've got my eternal steak in there. But, uh, let's pop into here. B Enderman Intrusion. Oh, here we go. Took a second. Alright, we're heading over. And it appears we are inside of a block. Oh, okay. We're good now. Yeah, um, like I said, no clue what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, I mean, I know there's, like, some certain blocks to be, like, looking for. Brood blocks. Sticky situation. Jump into honey to break your fall. Well, I didn't mean it. Okay. Brood blocks. I don't know what that is. I wonder if there's a book for Bumble Zone. Doesn't look like it. Bumble Zone. What do... What do the brood blocks do? Let's see. Brood block. It'll drop some stuff. Oh, here we go. A larva living in a giant hole inside a honeycomb block. The larva will grow slowly through four stages faster in the bumble zone dimension. When it's at the final stage, it has a chance of spawning a bee. Uh, you can speed up. Okay, so nothing like super useful to us. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just kind of wander around and see what there is to see. Um, should be easy to get out of it, because there's only going to be one beehive in our dimension. And from what I've read, you just dig up, and it'll take you to the nearest beehive in the dimension you came from. Um, oh man, this is awesome right here. It's really cool looking. Let's hop on over and see if we can get over to the other side. We can do some running around. What we got down here? Some kind of bee mod shaft. Pile of pollen. What do we got? I really, uh, I don't know what to expect here. I don't know if it's going to be the most interesting thing on camera. Um, I don't think you're supposed to break any blocks. That's why I'm trying to be careful to just kind of go around the terrain because I think the bees get pissed off at you if you break anything. They're like really slow here too. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like, I feel like I should be looking for something, you know? But I don't know what. I see some... What is this, water? Yeah, it's just water, it seems like. I don't know. Seems kind of neat. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, run around for a little bit. And, uh, I'll get back with you if I find anything cool or interesting, like a boss or something. Okay, so I figured a little something out, I think. Um, we're gonna need to make this compass guy, honey compass. Um, and then that'll locate a maze or something like that. Um, and we need some different things from the, uh, bumble zone to get that. So, I should have brought a bucket, I guess, because we're going to have to get some honey. Um, but I can grab some of this pollen. So we're going to need that. And I guess I'll have to come back with, um, with a bucket so that we can drop down and get some honey. So, I guess I'm going to head back up to, uh, up to our base, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, I'll go and get some of the stuff we need, and then maybe we can try and find one of these... Um, 
sail mazes or whatever it is. Yeah, sail maze. So I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Okay, guys. So I got our honey compass. And I'm told that it's a good idea to bring some honey bottles to pacify the bees. Uh, so maybe that'll help us out some. Uh, oh, yeah. Now I gotta get back out of here. I did die one time earlier. I didn't even die to the bees, man. I died because of um fall damage <laughs> so that makes it even worse but i should be able to get out going this way so yeah it wasn't even the bees that killed me man i just died because of being dumb but i was able to get my stuff back pretty easy but um yeah i mean i guess we'll just let this guy run us around and figure out where we're supposed to be going. Like, really? Uh, I guess I could just kind of go like this and dig my way over to wherever I'm trying to get to. Um, but big thing is, so you can break these blocks. You don't want to break these. You don't want to break the honey blocks. Those make the bees angry for like a few minutes and it's not a good time um i made that mistake earlier <laughs> but as long as you wait it out you'll be fine they don't stay angry for a very long time but still you know better to just avoid it but um yeah i mean i guess i'll just run around until i find where we're looking for and I'll, uh, I'll come back once I get somewhere. Okay, I found it, guys. Um, immediately, we got the Wrath of the Hive uh, thing. So, we're going to attempt to befriend the bees. <sighs> okay, they're cool. So, yeah, you just have to... So, I've got protection of the hive now. So, they should be cool with me for a little bit. Um... But yeah, this is this is the place we were looking for. What is all this over here? Honey web. Oh, that's cool. You can climb it. And it's very sticky. Okay, so I guess I'm just supposed to explore this guy. And try and find some stuff. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for. But, um... You know, I'll take what I can, I guess. Oh, got stuck in a web again. Nothing that we really need. Although this bee bread, I think, is good. Um, bee stinger. Ooh. I can make a spear with it. That's kind of neat. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to run around and just kind of loot this guy for a little bit until we find some stuff that we're going to want. Um, Got another shield. I did go ahead and make one of these honey crystal shields. Ooh, our thing ran out. Be cool. There we go. Okay, we're good. Um... But yeah, I guess I'll just kind of run around for a little bit and I'll let you know if I find anything cool or if I kind of find what I'm looking for. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I'll be back in just a minute. All right, I found what we needed, this uh, throne pillar compass. Um, there's also this guy. Um, I think these things are good to tame at some point, but we'll come back it's, or maybe... Uh, find another one at some point to tame I'm not too worried about that right now we don't have a saddle or anything to mess with it um but yeah this is the guy that we're going to be following now um so i guess we need to head this way um i don't know if we're going to fight the queen today necessarily we may we'll just see where the world takes us i reckon um but let me fill up some of these buckets no more wrath only for
Yep, so that's all you gotta do for that. Got plenty of honey now. Should be able to collect a little bit more, maybe. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Alright, well, I guess we'll head off. Um, oh, dang it. This stuff is annoying, man, I tell you. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna continue exploring and figure out where we're going next. Alright, guys, I found the uh, throne pillar, it looks like. Um, I think this is it here. So... I, don't, I mean, I guess I'm just supposed to bum rush it. I don't know if there's like a strategy here or what I'm supposed to do. But I guess we're just going to try and fly out this guy a couple spots at a time. Maybe grab some of the stuff around the edges. Oh, I've got mining fatigue while I'm around it. That's interesting. Huh. That gives the queen a bit of a buff, doesn't it? So I guess we're supposed to come in right here. Queen wants light blue sapling. Am I supposed to try and kill it? Or what am I supposed to do here? Or am I supposed to give it what it wants? The queen's desire. A quest line bestowed upon you. Complete the advancements for rewards. Um, light blue sapling. From Spectrum? Jeez, I don't even know. Huh. It's kind of neat. What is this stuff? Oh jeez, I wasn't supposed to do that, I guess. Okay, we're good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I have no idea what this stuff is that I want to say. The queen wants a light blue sapling. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to get it back to you, queen. I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to go back to the base and uh, try and come back here. And get her that light blue sapling she wants. Um, but probably what I'll do is bring a waystone here. That way I can throw that down and come back and forth to her. So guys, I'm going to go get a waystone for that. And I will be back. It'll be a little bit for me, but it'll be quick for y'all. Alright. Let's get our light blue uh, sapling. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I wish I had done it with the pink one. Because you don't get the sapling back. Um, I think we can grow these in botany pots. I want to try that. And if it works, I want to see. Um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's got an inventory. And then I'll grab a piece of dirt. And does that work? Yeah, that looks like it's growing. So let me try some bone meal. And, okay, so that does just get us the block and the die. So we still have to go through at some point and craft all of the different saplings and stuff. But that is cool that we're able, we're able to get the log and all, at least out of that. But we'll head over to our B dimension and hand this one off to our queen and uh, see if she likes it. Hopefully we haven't outdone the timer and she still wants it. We'll see. We made it to our queen bee. It says something has been discovered. I don't know what that means, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. Am I supposed to click it? Oop! She took it. Is she gonna do something with it? I gave it to her. I don't 
don't know if I did that right. I might not have. Um, I guess I'll go home and make another one. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of guessing. Um, so, I don't think I brought anything in my inventory now. So, light blue. Mm. Um, what did we need? This stuff. And a sapling. Alright. And we'll pop back over here, make another one of those, and we should be able to, like, real quick pop back over to the Queen Bee now. Should be pretty easy. Um, I made the mistake of not placing one of those the first time, which I wish I had, because I was a pain in the butt to get back to. So this should get us our sapling pretty quickly, and then, uh, we'll go back over there to her, give her the sapling. Maybe I'll try clicking it on her instead of just handing it over. Oh, we've got two of them. There was already one in my inventory. <laughs> I forgot that I had this guy set to pick up. Let me turn that off of pick up. And then we'll head back over to her. Queen Bee. Oh, he gave us some rewards. That's cool, I guess. Um, is that all we get is some stingers and some poisonous potatoes? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to like do something. Ooh, bumblebee chest plate. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to like do something with it or... I'll take the armor, I guess. I don't need that. She seems to like that for whatever reason. But I don't really know. I don't know. I guess I'll have to do some research and maybe try and figure it out. So, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to read a little bit. Try and see what we're supposed to be doing here. And um, I'll let you know whenever I figure it out. Alright. I figured out kind of what we're supposed to do. Um, I don't really know. But basically, trading that gets you some rewards. But you can trade like anything. And she'll just give you like a bunch of random stuff. I haven't really gotten anything very useful out of her yet. So I'm not real sure... Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've just kind of been giving her random trades. She likes to give bee stingers, um, which are, like, super useless. Can be used as low damage ammo for bows and crossbows. Can be right-clicked on stingerless bees to put a stinger back on them. That's kind of neat, I guess. You can change the color of anything that's died, I've figured out. Um, but other than that, she just kind of takes random stuff. Some stuff she likes, some stuff she doesn't. Um, so I guess, I mean, I don't know if there's really any point to it. Um, but I guess I'm gonna go through and just trade her a bunch of random stuff and see if we get anything like cool or neat or useful out of it. Cause right now I'm just getting a lot of sticks and sugar. Apparently I'm a VIP trader. Um, what's the button? There we go. Oh, here we go. So this opened up a bunch of stuff. So, you can get all kinds of stuff here. So, 24 bee nests, 24 spiders, 20, 32 bottles of honey. And I think all of these get you, like, rewards for doing them. So, that's kind of neat. The 
become legendary by slaying the ender dragon with full B armor on. That's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I hadn't really got anything super useful out of her just yet. So I don't know. I guess I'll just keep trading. But um, I think that's probably going to be it for this one. Uh, maybe in the next episode we can figure out some more stuff um, about her. I also would like to get into Batania here soon, maybe. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. I know this was kind of a different episode. Um, I'm not great with these episodes where I'm not, like, I'm exploring some I'm not super comfortable with. Um, like, at least tech, I'm, you know, I can figure out, um, tech mods along the way because I've used a lot of them before. But this is definitely out of my comfort zone, so... I hope y'all are enjoying it. I hope that it isn't too boring. I know that I kind of struggle with the commentary for these type of videos still. Um, but that being said, you know, I I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to keep uh, exploring this Bumble's own deal. See if we can figure out some more cool stuff that she likes, doesn't like, whatever. And um, I'll let y'all know in the next one what I discover. But uh, that's it, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to join the Discord if you haven't already, and uh, check out the merch if you'd like to, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.